Hey guys, Lindsay here, and let's take a few minutes and look at long multiplication without using a calculator. So I've got a couple questions up here, and I know we're kind of used to throwing them in our calculator and getting the answer, but it's important to understand the process because sometimes if you type it wrong into your calculator and you get an incorrect answer, the only way you're going to recognize that is if you're comfortable doing the math yourself. So let's take a look at this one. 4,512 multiplied by 123. So what we tend to do is take the larger of the two, so in this case that's got four digits, and we're going to put that one on the top. So 45, 12, and then this guy is going to be multiplied down on the bottom. So 123. So I'm not sure if you saw the long division video, um, but we just take this one step at a time just like we did in long division. We are going to first multiply 4,512 by 3. So let's do that. We're going to start on the right hand side. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So I'm going to put the 1's, the 5, down on the bottom and I'm going to put the 1 from the 15 up in the next category. And 3 times 4 is 12 plus that 1 would be 13. So there we have 4,512 multiplied by 3. Now we're going to multiply that same number by 20. Not by 2, but by 20, because that's 123. So in order to multiply it by 20, what we need to do first is put a 0 placeholder there. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 times 1, which is 2. 2 times 5, that's 10. So I'm going to put the 0 down. I'm going to put another 1 up there. And 2 times 4 is 8, plus that 1 would give me 9. Great. Multiplied it by 3, by 20. And then you can probably imagine this last line, we're going to multiply this by 100. So in order to do that, 100 has two zeros. So we're going to put those two zeros down there. And then we're going to go for it. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 5. And 1 times 4. So now I have 4512 multiplied by 3, by 20, and by 100. So does it make sense that now we would add all those, all those three together to get our answer multiplied by 123? So let's do that. So we've got 6, 3 plus 4 plus 0 is 7. That's 9. 3 plus 0 plus 1. That's 4. That's 15. So I'm going to bring that last one over, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have a final answer of 554,976 without our calculator, which is kind of nice. Let's take a look at one more example. And what I've said in my videos before, and I'll say it again here now, is the best way to be good at math is to do math, not just to watch me do math. So my suggestion would be that you turn the video off at this point, try that one on your own, and then come back and see that we're on the same page. So hopefully you did that. Hopefully you turned the video off and you worked through this question. Now let's take a look at it together. I have got the larger of the two numbers on the top, so in this case it's 560, and the smaller on the bottom, 24, a multiplication sign. So let's multiply 560 first by 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 6 is 24, so I'll put the 4 down there and the 2 up here. 4 times 5 is 20, plus that 2 is 22. And now we're multiplying 560 by 20. So I will put that 0 down. Now 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12, so the 2 goes down and the 1 goes up. And 2 times 5 is 10, plus that 1 up there is 11. Maybe once you've added something together, it doesn't, doesn't hurt to cross it off so that it doesn't get confusing the next, the next part of the question. Then we add those guys together. 0 plus 0, 4 plus 0, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 1, and 1. So our final answer, 13,440. So hopefully that makes you feel a little bit more comfortable with doing multiplication without your calculator.